There may be a time when you need to clear an attempt for a student and allow them to resubmit a test or an assignment. So let's take a look at how to do that and what options you have available. So we'll come on down to the full grading center by first going to the grade center and expanding that into the full grade center. And here we see that our student had submitted a week two essay. So let's take a look at what we can do with this. Come to the menu right beside it and select view grade details. So you can either view the attempt that the student submitted so you can see and weigh out whether or not you wanna clear the attempt or ignore the attempt, or you can just move forward with your options here. If you clear the attempt, you completely remove anything that the student had submitted and you won't be able to see anything that they've done. If you come down here to allow additional attempt, allow additional attempt will only appear if a student has already submitted the maximum number of attempts allowed for that assignment. You can continue to offer opportunities to resubmit attempts each time the student reaches the maximum number. You don't have to grade previous attempts to allow the student to submit again. Alternatively, select ignore attempt to ignore the attempt score in the grade calculations and not count it against the maximum number of attempts. So when choosing ignore attempt, the student will be able to submit the assignment or test again. However, unlike clear attempt, his or her previous attempt will be kept in case you need it in the future. So we're gonna select ignore attempt in this case. So as you can see, after performing this action, the button's name changed to do not ignore attempt, which will allow us to undo the action if necessary. So when we're finished with all of this, we'll return to the grade center. And now, as you can see, the student has been, had their attempt removed and they are able to resubmit this assignment.